Transportation League. Bruce, uh, the elections last week uh, uh, really kind of overhauled the House, obviously, and, and, and some people say the transportation agenda in Washington. What do you see the impact being on a couple of the major uh, issues that were hanging out there? Ocean, uh, ocean reform, first of all. There was an ocean right. uh, regulatory reform act right, going yeah. on. You're right, uh, Paul. Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. Glad you're here. The uh, uh, Mr. Oberstar's bill on, on ocean uh, regulatory reform, uh, obviously it's uh, uh, come to a full stop. Uh, it, nothing is going to happen with that bill during the current Congress, during the uh, lame duck session. And, and we're in a little bit of a wait and see for, for next year. We'll be talking with Mr. Micah, certainly. Uh, the Knit League uh, is working with a group of probably 30 to 35 other shipper organizations who sort of have the same focal point, and that is focusing on the antitrust immunity issue and preserving the vessel sharing agreements that are important to the carrier community, important to the shippers as well. We need to do it the right way. Paul, there were a lot of things in that bill that uh, we did not agree with, and certainly I know World Shipping Council did not agree with, uh, but we think we need to have this dialogue and continue looking at the topic of the antitrust reform uh, uh, piece of that legislation in particular. Some, some of the provisions of that could simply go to the FMC, right? and the, and the FMC could handle uh, change administrative procedures and do things on its own. Do you see that as a as a possibility? I think I think some of the provisions in the bill were pluses, some of them were probably minuses. We want to make sure that we preserve the, the sanctity, if you will, uh, of the of the service contract between the carrier, between the shipper. If those parties can agree that they want to they want to seek an alternative dispute resolution, mediation, arbitration at the FMC, outside of the FMC, Let's wrap that into the service contract and not have it dictated by federal law. The the other side of it was rail re right. what what the railroads called re-regulation. Yeah. Um, with the uh, the changeover at the house, rail rail regulation is certainly not on the agenda there. We've heard that puts the uh, onus, I guess, on the STB. Perhaps. What do you see happening in the STB? Well, I think you're, you're reading it correctly. Uh, you know, I believe that Senator Rockefeller is still going to pursue uh, his reform legislation, his STB authorization. Whether it'll be the same bill, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait to see what the chairman does. But I think you're reading the, uh, the House the same way we're reading it. Uh, we're taking uh, some considerable amount of uh, uh, interest in what Chairman uh, Dan Elliott is doing at the STB. We had him as a guest speaker here yesterday, and he outlined for us some of the things that uh, he is doing and planning to do, uh, which, upon reflection, pick up some of the key elements of Rockefeller's legislation. Uh, the first one is, uh, starting next month, they've asked a question to the community, to the, to the industry at large, should we take a fresh look at exempt commodities, intermodal, boxcars, uh, the, the different uh, uh, industries that are currently exempt. And he pointed out that, as we have often thought ourselves, those rules were set 25, 30 years ago. Industry has changed. And all they're doing is asking the question right now. He wants to uh, pursue, a, 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 I think, a bigger initiative on arbitration and mediation. He's also talking about uh, taking a look at competitive access issues, which I know is, is, is a flashpoint inside uh, Chairman Rockefeller's legislation, but it's a, uh, having it before the board in terms of public hearings and research is probably the right thing to do in our estimation. Can the, can the STB do the kinds of things without legislative action that you'd like them to do? Can they go as far as you'd like? I think that they could. I think that they could. Uh, others are more expert perhaps on, on the finer points of the law than I am, but I think that they uh, have the ability on their own initiative clearly encouraged by Chairman Rockefeller at the hearing a couple of months ago. Uh, the message that I heard, and I think uh, uh, Chairman Elliott heard, was, well, if the legislation is not moving very quickly, why don't you, Mr. Elliott, go out there and use the authorities that you have under the current law to take a look at these, these issues that are important to the transportation industry very broadly. What about, what about the big uh, transportation issue in Washington infrastructure? Uh, the, the highway bill um, doesn't look high on the Republicans' agenda. It's, uh, I, you know, I sort of have a bit of a wait-and-see uh, approach on that as we get into the early spring. 
you know, we're, we're faced with nothing but dilemma. On the one hand, infrastructure that is not, you know, we're not getting the investment, we're not getting the capacity expansion. On the other hand, we have short-term extensions of the existing authority. That's a bad way to do business. Uh, I have a long career in, uh, behind me in government and doing uh, legislative uh, authority in, in small bits and bites is not the right way to do a, a program like this. And then over the top of this, we have a problem here called how do you pay for it? Uh, this is one of the most expensive undertakings that government uh, uh, invests in uh, through the states. Uh, the price tag that uh, Chairman Oberstar gave us was in the you know, round figures of a half a trillion dollars. Uh, but we have clearly a, a, a reaction from the voters, stop spending so much money, balance our budgets, don't raise taxes, and the question on the table is how do you get there from here if those are going to be the rules of the game. We have a lot to, to look at, a lot to talk about. I, I look forward to working with uh, Chairman Micah when he takes over that forum uh, next year. Okay, great. Bruce, thank you. Thank you, Paul.